Hey YouTube, Daniel here from the home of Random Productions 2.0 with another Minecraft video. Although this Minecraft video is going to be a little different and it is going to be a, a sensitive subject I should note. So just recently I've decided to convert my map that everyone that watches my YouTube videos or plays on into a realm. And much like in the actual Xbox games, I've always named the, the map uh, in memory of Steven Pereira. A friend of mine who passed away in uh, May, uh, no, not May, September 2017. He was a friend of mine, Lewis's, and a few other people, a part of the Random Productions team, and we all went to high school together. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the realm, I got to name it, but the realm's uh, naming requirements is very smaller than the Xbox or just on the main sub menu of the game so i decided to do a acronym for imo which stands for in memory of stephen p and uh, a, a few people that i invited which are like zoe's friends and then some of my friends and stuff one of them asked what does imo stand for and then i realized i haven't really discussed that subject so i did explain in memory of stephen p and then i explained to that person so Stephen P, like I said, we went to high school together, and he was a, Lewis's best friend, my best friend, and uh, and he passed away in September 2017. Um, the reason the map's labeled after, uh, named after him, is because he, in the beginning of when I started playing Minecraft, April 2014, was one of the started the first people to start contributing to building, and. Actually, he helped with finishing off the white tunnels because at one point I did the one side which leads to the desert village. He finished off the desert village tunnels and then the return trip to the glass house as well as contributed to, you know, many projects like helped Lewis with the Puntang building, these um, bridges here, the Shelterini, and just a few other things. Although his main preference for game was Grand Theft Auto 5 he did enjoy playing with us but one of his main landmarks is this building you see here as well as this cross and uh, and to give you guys a bit of context I need to switch over to the last saved file that I have access to which is gonna take us to December 2014 so since I'm on the computer this is the realm you see on screen, IMO Stephen P. I go to my friend section, I'll be able to go to the map that's loaded on my Xbox and just cross-platform that way. <clears throat> so, here we are, December 2014, which is the final save. And the reason why we're here is because on December, um, November 2018, give or take, I was going through all the maps on my minecraft xbox one edition do keep in mind that when we originally started playing this world was created on the xbox 360 minecraft and i ported it over to the xbox one edition of minecraft and so by fiddling with all the maps and deleting the ones i didn't want i accidentally accidentally deleted this map <clears throat> and outside of all what you see here there's other builds that we will never be able to get back because they're gone but that's cool. It is what it is. It wasn't anything too important. But the main part was, you know, when it happened, I called Lewis. I talked to everybody. And I was, like, very upset about it. Is that, you know, Steven's build, we would never be able to get back. And we can, re we can recreate them, of course. But nothing is better than the original. So while on the main submenu of the Minecraft Xbox One edition, <clears throat> it did show retrieve Xbox 360 saves. So I did click on it. And it gave us the opportunity to retrieve my final save on the 360, which was December 2014. And the reason why I know that is because the building that houses the New Year's Eve room of 2015, we demoed it because we weren't going to keep this attached to Lewis's building. It was for the one day we demoed it all and never thought about it ever again. So that was the bonus points of being able to have this back was we got the New Year's Eve room back. But in addition to us, in addition to that, we were able to bring back Steven's build back to its rustic phase because 
as 2015, 2016 progressed, Steve did do multiple modifications as we played. So I'll quickly go over this. So like Steven built this cross, this whole area is different when you, and it's when we're in the 2021 version of the world, this changed as well. So rustic being like the doors are still missing and we're playing in a, a texture pack that's original to the Minecraft versus the plastic world, which is the one I play here. For example, I created a water, the waterfall would continue outward over the glass. So you can see it in the, the tunnel below and it goes outside. Um, as you, you know, the shelterini stays the same. Nothing really changes here, but we do create a memorial room when we were able to retrieve this. And I'll explain that to you when we transition over back to the realm. But this will have like an access point for getting into the memorial. <coughs> Excuse me, it's still a little under the weather. Here it doesn't change much. This is pretty much what you see is what you get. Aside from the tunnel tracks being all redstone tracks versus, you know, half and half. Um, as we go upstairs quickly, um, here you'll see like little imperfections like this will be fixed. This will all remain the same. We did have to add doors here to access the memorial that Lewis and I built. Um, let me go upstairs some more. This is pretty much the same as is. <clears throat> the changes start to happen in this area as Steven would play in 2015-2016. He um, decided to... Uh, <clears throat> this won't... This will be... No, this won't be here anymore. This will be here. Yes, this will be here. Um, the changes are actually above. So this would be turned into a pool area here that he did the last time he ever played with us. Uh, like I said, Steven was always a GTA person, so he'd only play randomly. And then a wall gets put here. And then when you go up here, this is now gone. The glass wall would be put here to, to show the pool below. These stairs would be removed, and then you'd access the water this way. That door remains. Uh, so with the restore of the 2014 the December 2014 map we lost you know that all those extra little builds but I was able to remember and you know refix everything and Steven's choice of color was the lapis block and the quartz block which I think are nice colors with the brick it's got a nice it's got a nice tone to it also at the same time of this build <coughs> I was very amateur with the redstone circuit so Steve asked to do a waterfall here that he can turn on and off so the buttons here and it works don't get me wrong it works perfectly fine but when i show you the <laughs> the actual redstone circuit it just looks like wow so we'll go outside to the full rooftop pad <coughs> excuse me full rooftop patio which uh, uh gives you a beautiful view of everything that you know the guys built and stuff <coughs> <coughs> And then when you go up a little bit, you're going to see my ridiculous <coughs> dispenser circuit, which has changed, by the way. I made it. I cleaned it up a lot. Uh, I wasn't really here for Steven's build when he started this because I was working on finishing the, the station at the Desert Village. And then the guys, Louis, Steve, my cousin, and Stephen P. started playing regularly, and they just tried to find a flat land to build. And this was the area. So... Upon finishing the Sand Village tunnel area, <coughs> I made my way to start making the, the system go underground here. Hence why, like, the Shelterini joins it, and, and it's got the new redstone lights. It's the redstone tunnel is what I call it. So that's pretty much that. Um, <coughs> as you can see, a lot of the land will change when we transition over to the 2021 version of the world. And this whole area here will clear because given that we had that luxury to not only get back the builds that Steven did by the December 2014 map, we were also able to kind of learn from that mistake and just re improve what we already knew and just make it 10 times better. And that's where the idea of doing the memorial build would be a thing. Uh, the realm load is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. <coughs> okay, so now we're back. 
as you can see this is different uh, there's a road here there's a house here uh, this is different so to give you guys an exact idea of what he did that disappeared that I had to do because of my mistake is like I said um, we added the doors here's the pool area I talked about um, here's the glass area and then the wall division I'll sh uh, let me just pan a little bit here just to give you guys a good view <clears throat> and then the stairs are here and this gets completed to be a full walkthrough which I don't think ever got utilized um yeah so you can't really go up here and then let me just go through here quickly and then we added the doors and the pressure plates to allow for easy access to the doors and pretty much fix anything that was random and out of place I think if Steve one of Steven's main goal here was to always have an elevator this area particularly here was the elevator shaft elevator pit whatever you want to call it and <coughs> unfortunately Xbox 360 Minecraft and a little bit of Xbox one was very lacking in the technology that redstone has today with you know honey blocks slime blocks and people building elevators some crazy designs on YouTube I tell you what um, yep so that's pretty much that now if I go to the second floor I will show you guys the memorial we built which uh, I think is a, a very great tribute to have <coughs> Uh, so, before I go into the room, I just have to explain a little bit of context here. So, myself and Steven and everyone else, we were high, hardcore Fast and the Furious fans. And then, you know, Paul Walker passed away. And they did a fitting tribute at the end of the Fast and the Furious 7 movie. And I thought it would have been a nice design to incorporate that into this build. Uh, so with the help of a couple of YouTube videos and a note block tutorial, I was able to incorporate this into the, the memorial. So just enjoy. For those of you who are familiar with the movie and the, that song, this song is See You Again by Charlie Puth featuring Wiz Khalifa. And it's an amazing song. I love that song and I listen to it, I listen to, it to this day. I, I won't get into too much details of the electronic circuit here because I did end up adding a looper. So if you want to just stay in here and keep listening to it, you just got to flick the switch when you start it. And once the signal gets to the end, it will allow for it to keep playing. Um, so I'll, I'll do that in a later video. Also, we incorporated the waterfall to be relaxing, and then as well as some flashing lights on the top there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's try to get a more closer. There you'll see the flashing lights. Uh, you can turn off the water if you need. And then we also incorporated the red and blue blocks. And St Lewis did the words because Lewis is the best when it comes to the words. And then here's access to the shelterini. So Lewis helped build this. Also in, in in November 2018, or yeah, I, uh, after building this, I was able to incorporate uh, a, a little birthday presentation that I removed here. You'd be able to walk up some stairs that were here, and they would just say like, happy birthday, Steven, but I got rid of that. <coughs> so... That's pretty much that. Um, I have to just say uh, thank you to everyone for watching this segment of the video and hope you guys can get a bit of context as to why it was named like that. It uh, for sure sucks losing a friend and uh, never being able to see them. It get, it's been it's gotten easier to uh, realize that they're not around, but <clears throat> you know, 
you think about them from time to time and it's all it's been an amazing opportunity to have been able to retrieve his build and you know maintain it and and do the addition and the memorial and lewis has been a, a great asset in, in taking over that legacy and helping out make this world what it is today amongst everyone else that's joined you know kayla my sister <coughs> zoe or nina Alyssa, and a few other people that's played over the, the years so <coughs> for those of you please uh join me on november 24th 2021 for steven's 30th birthday tribute uh yeah so stay tuned for that thanks for watching daniel out